if there is a new assignment on the bulletin board, I've just had news that the Continental Army has finally secured a victory. You know that Britain does not have enough soldiers in its own army to win this war, so they hired professional soldiers from Germany to fight for them. They're known as Hessians, isn't that right? Yes. From what I hear, the Continental Army has successfully attacked the Hessians. See what you can find out about this victory. This is great news. Don't you think so, Sarah? I think I'll wait and find out the facts before I draw any conclusions, James. We need to find out all the details, and it's up to you. You need to determine the who, what, when, and where behind this victory. And of course, as always, be sure to get at least two quotes about why people think it happened. And if at all possible, try to interview at least one Continental soldier. I want the opinion of someone who's right in the action. A Continental soldier? Shouldn't we talk to those in charge? Yes, James, we will. But don't forget, good reporters look for all sides to a story. The questions you need to ask are in your notebook. Dig hard for the best possible information. That means accurate and insightful reporting. And stay out of trouble. Good luck, and Godspeed. Come on, let's go. The Continental Army's camp is right here on the Delaware River. So I assume the Hessians are on the other side of the river, over there in Trenton. From what Moses told us about the Continental Army's victory, I doubt there are many Hessians over there anymore. Brr, that was a chilly boat ride. A shovel. Someone's been doing some digging. Let's warm our hands up by the fire. Sarah, be strong. These soldiers have nothing but tents to protect them from the cold. Some of the soldiers have rags wrapped around their feet. Their boots have worn completely through. Most of these soldiers' enlistments are up in just a few days. I don't think a single victory will convince them to re-enlist under these conditions. They may be cold and hungry, but this victory proves they can win. Hardtack is made from flour and water and, as you can tell from the name, it can be difficult to chew. Hi, I'm Sarah from the Pennsylvania Gazette. And I'm James. We'd like to ask you a few questions about your recent victory. Yeah, you've never seen such a battle. The enemy didn't even see us coming. Can't we ask you a few questions? I'd like to help, but I've got orders to get that fire pit clean, and I can't locate a shovel anywhere. If we found you a shovel, would you take a few moments to answer our questions? Sure, sounds good to me. In fact, if you get me that shovel, I might be able to get you permission to enter the guardhouse so you could interview the guard as well. Thanks for finding this shovel. You can go ahead and check out the guardhouse if you like. But first, why don't you stop for a moment and ask me your questions? Who is involved in the American victory at Trenton? As a soldier, my job is to follow orders. If I do so, I've been promised my freedom when the war is ended. General Washington led us, and he is surely the reason we prevailed. Despite the bitter cold, he insisted on remaining with us at all times. What led to the Army's victory? It took all my energy just to stay alive and do my job but I'm sure the general could tell you more. Well, I could tell you that the battle was over pretty quickly. When did the victory occur? It was Christmas night when we started. The Hessians were celebrating the holiday. We crossed the river on December 25th. We marched into town an hour after sunrise on the morning of December 26th. Where did the army's victory occur? Everywhere we went, it was miserably cold and icy. The battle wasn't far from our camp in Pennsylvania, but it sure took a lot of time and energy to get there. Why was the victory so important to the Continental Army? Perhaps when the states gain their freedom, the injustice of slavery will be banished forever in this new land. The Continental Army needed this victory to hold the troops together and keep the hopes of the revolution alive. Most of the soldiers in the Continental Army are nothing but untrained volunteers. They don't stand a chance against the professional troops hired by the king. I wouldn't count them out yet, Sarah. 
It sounds like General Washington and his soldiers completely baffled those professionals. A telescope in a beautiful case. I saw some soldiers sleeping in the snow back there. They didn't even have blankets. It's cold, but I'd be willing to sleep in the snow for the cause of liberty. In that... A brown bess musket, the standard armament of a British regular. A trained soldier can fire and reload a musket in about 15 seconds. It's so good to get out of the wind. I don't think you're tough enough to be a soldier, Sarah. <laughs> It's not courage I lack, James. I'm simply not convinced this cause is justified. You're a soldier with the Continental Army? Please tell us about your victory. Yes, there's never been a victory like this one. But I'm still eager to go home. Go home? So you still think the cause is hopeless? No, he doesn't think that, Sarah. You don't think all is lost, do you, sir? Right now, I'm just thinking about sitting by a warm fire as I recount our victory. Do you think you could find me a tinderbox? Until recently, there were two or three ferries that carried travelers across the Delaware River. What? You didn't enjoy our boat ride? Hello. We're with the Pennsylvania Gazette and would like to ask you a few questions about the Continental Army's recent victory. Victory? It seems our lives would have been better off had we tried to reconcile with Britain rather than begin this unwinnable war. So you believe the rebels' cause is hopeless? I believe what I really need is a pair of warm boots. When the Hessian Army arrived, they took whatever they needed. Then the Continental Army came through and caused further havoc. We can surely find you some boots. This place is so stark and cold. I do miss England. But, Sarah, if you return to England, who will remind me to consider the British point of view? Wrong as it may be. A tinderbox. It holds everything you need for starting a fire. A flint and steel to create a spark, and some very dry cloth or bark which easily catches fire. Right now, I'm just... Uh, there's nothing like a warm fire. What would you like to know? Who is involved in the American victory at Trenton? Victory. What a sweet word. It was our first after many retreats, you know. Regardless, I'm still hungry and cold. My term of enlistment is over soon, on January 1st. What led to the Army's victory? I didn't make the plans. I only did what I was told to do. We crossed the icy Delaware River on a miserable snowy night. Then we marched nine miles to surprise the Hessians. When did the victory occur? I can't exactly recall. We really haven't slept in several days. We planned to attack before dawn on the day after Christmas. We still surprised them, even though it was an hour after sunrise by the time we arrived. Where did the army's victory occur? We crossed a river to do battle. Why was the victory so important to the Continental Army? I'm not certain one victory will make a difference. We're still cold and tired and hungry. Well, since this victory comes after a long course of retreats, it may give new life to our cause. Perhaps it'll even convince a few soldiers to re-enlist. For a town of only about 100 homes, Trenton seems a busy place. Yes. Because of its location, travelers often stop here to break up their journey. How could a battle be fought in a snowstorm? Wouldn't the moisture ruin the gunpowder? I imagine the soldiers must have fought with their bayonets. It appears the Continental Army may be preparing for another attack. 
Surely the men will be allowed to rest first. General George Washington? The commander of the Continental Army? Yes. How can I help you? We're reporters from the Pennsylvania Gazette. We've been sent to find out about the Continental Army's recent victory. May we ask you a few questions? To be honest, I am waiting for a secret message from a spy. A spy? I cannot answer your questions unless I am sure I can trust you with secrets. Can you find the spy and bring me the secret message? You can trust us. We'll bring you your message. The light in the windows looks so inviting and warm. Sarah, you are always thinking about the cold. Mmm, that food smells delicious. And you, James, are always thinking about your stomach. I've heard many of the Hessian soldiers did not even volunteer to serve. They were forced into service by the German princes. Yes, the only pay most of them receive is their meals. This is quite a find. A bad. Hello, Henri. Did Moses send you here also? Oh, not really. I was just so excited about the victory, I couldn't stay away. Oh, how I wish I were old enough to enlist. So, what have you heard about the victory? Well, I have been talking to the soldiers. They are a ragged lot, they are. What is it I can tell you? Who is involved in the American victory at Trenton? I hear the Americans took on the Hessians and showed them who was in charge. What led to the army's victory? I'm not really sure, but the Continental Army finally scored a victory! When did the victory occur? All I know is the soldiers were always complaining of the cold. Bitter cold, that's what they said. Where did the army's victory occur? Where? Who cares where? All that matters is that they won. Check around for yourselves. I'm sure there's somebody around here who can give you all the details. Why was the victory so important to the Continental Army? The men seem pretty happy about the victory, don't you think? But I still hear them talking about leaving as soon as their enlistments are up. After witnessing the conditions in the Continental Army camp, I appreciate a warm room even more. I'll say. The smell of food on a griddle. And the warmth of a roaring fire. Hello. Moses, Ben Franklin's associate at the Pennsylvania Gazette, sent us to find out about the apparent Continental Army victory. Apparent? Apparently they captured almost a thousand Hessians. I can try to tell you what I know. <laughs> but I'm only a butcher who supplies meat to the Hessian army. Hmm. Well, getting a variety of opinions is essential. I can certainly answer a few questions, but first, I have an immediate need for a jackknife. How can we help? If you could locate a Hessian soldier who escaped injury or capture by the Continental Army, he can surely give you the jackknife I need. Before the victory, the Hessian soldiers were quartered in various homes throughout Trenton. There may be some who escaped capture still here. We must be sure to get the Hessian point of view. Of the victory? Let's not refer to it as a victory should we interview a Hessian soldier. Aren't you a Hessian soldier? How did you escape capture by the Continental Army? James! Please, sir, we're from the Pennsylvania Gazette. We'd like to ask you a few questions. You know, they call us Hessians because many of us are from an area of Germany called hesse Kassel. I did not volunteer. I was forced to come here so our leader would be paid by the British. As journalists, we think it's important to get all points of view. Right, James? Right, Sarah. Many of my comrades were captured or killed. I am lucky that I am still welcome in this home. Unfortunately, I am cold and there are no extra blankets. Do you think you could locate one for me? Prior to this victory, the Continental Army had retreated all the way through New York and New Jersey. Yes, the Hessians remained in Trenton only because the Americans had all the available boats on the other side of the river. 
I wonder if a copy of the pamphlet The American Crisis by Thomas Paine is among these books. Perhaps. It was read aloud to General Washington's troops just before the victory. It begins, These are the times that try men's souls. Sarah, are you starting to embrace the rebels' cause? A good pair of boots. Un what I need is a pair of warm... Ah, my feet are warm at last. Thank you. I'll try to answer your questions, though I have never supported the idea of independence. Who is involved in the American victory at Trenton? I don't know the details. Well, I hear General Washington is loved and respected by his men. He must have been the one involved in such a victory. What led to the Army's victory? A victory? I'd call attacking sleeping and unarmed men a massacre. It seems somehow it didn't occur to the Hessians that the rebels might attack at such a time. The surprise factor allowed them to win. When did the victory occur? Oh, you insist on calling this sneak attack a victory? Well, all I know is it was cold. Where did the army's victory occur? Thank goodness none of it happened in my fields. Well, the rebels' camp is on the Pennsylvania side of the Delaware River. After crossing the river, they attacked the sleeping Hessians in Trenton, New Jersey. Why was the victory so important to the Continental Army? Must you continue to call this a victory? Don't forget that ragtag Continental Army has been pushed out of New York. Perhaps now the British will take the rebels more seriously. Obviously, if they're sneaky, they can win a battle here and there. You're back! A cartridge contains a bullet and pre-measured gunpowder. Cartridges save time when having to load a musket, and they're easy to carry. A blanket. That looks useful. I am cold, and there are no ex- Thank you. I am so cold. Please, there is a butcher who has helped our cause. He was recently captured by the Continental Army, but was fortunate enough to escape. Could you deliver this jackknife to him? I'll place it here on this table. Do not forget it. First, though, go ahead and ask me your questions. Who is involved in the American victory at Trenton? It was but one battle. We are professional soldiers, you know. It was but a small setback. We have already taken the city of New York. What led to the Army's victory? There was a blinding snowstorm. We were waiting it out indoors, and the Continental Army surprised us. Colonel Rahl was tricked into believing there was no danger of an attack, so we were unprepared. The Americans attacked while many of us were still in our beds. Colonel was killed in the battle, you know. When did the victory occur? Our colonel had no reason to believe we'd be attacked on that particular day. The Continental Army is nothing but a ragged, half-armed mob. It was a holiday. We were celebrating. Where did the army's victory occur? They crossed the river here to our camp from their own in Pennsylvania. They crossed the icy Delaware River from Pennsylvania during a snowstorm. We were housed here in Trenton, New Jersey, when they attacked. Why was the victory so important to the Continental Army? Do not think of it as a victory. It was merely a stroke of luck. I don't care why. 
All I know is that we will not be caught unprepared again. Hundreds of our soldiers were killed, wounded, or captured. A jackknife. Useful for all sorts of things. In fact, some regiments require that there's... If you could locate a he... Thank you. I desperately needed this jackknife. Now, I have one more errand for you to complete. Can you be trusted? Of course! We're journalists! Hmm, that is cause for alarm. But since you're associates of Ben Franklin, I believe I can trust you. I am not what I appear to be. I have a very important message for the commander of the Continental Army. I'll place it here on the table. Can you deliver it to him? But before you go, let me answer your questions. Who is involved in the American victory at Trenton? There were many involved in this battle. General Washington used his shrewd judgment to lead a surprise attack with over 2,000 troops. The Hessians, commanded by Colonel Rawl, were ill-prepared. What led to the Army's victory? I'm not certain how much I should tell you. You understand it's essential that my identity remain that of a butcher who provides meat to the Hessians. General Washington used spies such as myself to spread rumors and obtain information. This allowed him to attack when the Hessians were completely unprepared. When did the victory occur? I wouldn't know the exact time or date. I fled the Continental Army camp before the attack, pretending to be an escaped prisoner. Where did the Army's victory occur? I shouldn't say. I've shared quite a bit of information already. I made my way at once to a place of greater safety. Why was the victory so important to the Continental Army? I wouldn't have taken such a risk if I wasn't convinced the victory was important. The victory lifted the morale of the Continental Army. They are a miserable, cold, ragged bunch, but this victory will surely convince some of them to stay on and that they can win. A message on a scroll. Someone may be needing this. I cannot answer your question. This was a dangerous task. Thank you for helping me. I am eager for the colonists to hear of our victory. They have heard only bad news recently. Please, ask me whatever you'd like. Who is involved in the American victory at Trenton? My brave troops secured this victory. But they are worn out and cold. And they lack the necessary supplies. I only hope this victory can convince them to re-enlist. I had fewer than 2,500 troops at my disposal against three regiments of Hessians, Germans hired to fight for the British. What led to the Army's victory? I'm sorry. Our success depends upon secrecy. Without my network of spies, victory would have been impossible. But you must keep the whole matter as secret as possible. My spy, John Honeyman, convinced the enemy that we were unable to march during winter, then provided me with information that allowed us to surprise them. We prevailed in battle because my soldiers displayed great courage despite the adverse weather. When did the victory occur? It happened when they least expected it. Right around Christmas, the Hessians were still celebrating. Where did the army's victory occur? The Hessians certainly didn't expect us to show up where we did. I'm sorry, I don't have time to talk. I must go now to write a letter to the President of the Congress, informing him of our success. Why was the victory so important to the Continental Army? This victory helped to boost the morale of the soldiers. These soldiers do not even have the clothing they need at this coldest time of year. This victory was essential to demonstrate that our cause is not hopeless. 
I believe my men can now be convinced to re-enlist. Welcome back! I'm anxious to get all the details. You should have been there, Moses. Washington led his troops on a surprise attack across the Delaware. It was just what was needed to boost the soldiers' morale. I must admit, it was a stroke of military genius. General Washington is a fine gentleman and a very good general. The colonists had been demoralized by how the war has been going. The news of this victory is just what is needed to lift everyone's spirits. Head over to the editing desk to decide which quotes you want to put in your story so we can get this newspaper printed. Try to pick the best. Feedback appears below each of your quotes. Good work. This is the layout area, where you can make your newspaper front page look just the way you want before you print it out. Choose a sketch for your front page and type in a headline. Publish the paper once you are finished. Washington's crossing of the Delaware River and his defeat of the Hessian army at Trenton has dealt the British a serious blow. Finally, the American Continental Army has a victory to raise their spirits. We want our readers to get this news quickly. Let's get to work. Well done, Sarah and James. You can see how well you're doing on the chalkboard. Ben will be really interested in this news. So, General Washington had a little Christmas present for the Hessian soldiers at Trenton. <laughs> a sneak attack across the Delaware, in a snowstorm, no less. That's what we need, courage and initiative. If only my French friends would be swayed by this news. It seems that it will take a major defeat of the British to convince them to join us. We need their financial support, not to mention the help of their navy. We just don't have the ships to confront the British at sea. Well, James and Sarah, I've been hearing rumors of a major British advance somewhere in New York State. We need to be listening for any news. We're ready to go whenever you give us the word. As reporters, you'll have to ask the right questions and get the facts and opinions that make the most accurate and interesting story. As a matter of fact, an exciting assignment has just come in. You'll find it over on the bulletin board. <laughs> 